We have here in Arclear's Pro project with three files that we will need for our model builder exercise. I want to share this ArcGIS Pro project with everyone in the class, and I can do that by going to my share ribbon and there click on project, which means now I'm packaging the project. I'm packaging everything that's in here, the windows, the layers, the layer data sets, the symbology, the history, if I want to, everything that is related to this project is will be saved in this uh, project package. I want to save it to a project file. I add a summary and the tags. Here's an important option, share outside of organization. You want to make sure if you want to share your project data with your friends and colleagues to have this turned on. So that the recipients have access to all the data. Only now all the data are embedded inside the package project. We want to include the toolboxes, although they are empty right now. We can include the history items. We don't need to do that today. And uh, then you can analyze it. Once you have all the required information in there, then the Analyze button says, tells you it's green, and then you package it. So the package was created, and now I can terminate the session here, and let's open up the package. Before you can open the package that I have sent you, you should really change an option in ArcGIS Pro. So open up any older ArcGIS Pro project, and go to your project options, and in here, under share and download this is an important part where are your package data to be unpacked and per default it is put into a folder the default windows folder i always like to be asked where do you want it to be so that you're always in control maybe it's a usb pack maybe it's some folder in the cloud uh, but then you are always in full control and reminded where your data actually are packaged. Now let's go to our PPKX file and open it. And now it asks where do you want to unpack in which folder. In my case I have a folder prepared. This one here. And here is a project open, identical in every way how I had saved it. Let's see where the data are and what happened now in our folder location. So in here now, first of all, a folder was created with a name of my project file, my original project file, and then randomly six digit code is added to this. This does look as if this is a mistake, but this is normal. And inside here, we now find two folders. The common data, now because we had data distributed over two different original folders, contains those original folders, in one case with a watershed file, and in another case uh, with land cover and a river file. The other folder is always called our P20 folder, and that contains our geodatabase, our toolbox, and our original project file, our APRX file. We can also find the same location here in catalog. If we go to folders, there is the same folder subdivided into common data. 
and there with our respective data, and here again our P20 folder with our geodatabase and our toolbox. We are going to add a model builder tool in here just in a moment. And it's always good to be in control. What is your workspace? Let's double check this. Here in my case, uh, I had a folder called class demos. This is the folder name created by ArcGIS Pro. Uh, this is the P20 one. Here is our APRX file. Uh, this is here our home folder in which things will be written. This is your default geo database into new files will be written. Here is the toolbox location into which new scripts will be written. And lastly, you can of course also always see where your data came from by simply turning on here uh, our data source button and finding out, okay, the data here come from our common data folder and there simply in two different folders. That's all for today. Until next time.